Almost a century ago, giant U.S. Army airships ruled the skies here in the heart of the Midwest, when the United States Air Force was not yet an independent service. We have come a long way since then. With innovation and determination, airmen of the past pushed the boundaries of what was possible to achieve the capabilities we have today. Today, airmen fly, fight, and win, leveraging technology once only dreamed of. Much of that innovation began during the lighter-than-air era at Scott Field, when ordinary people strove to go higher, faster, and longer than anyone had before. It began during World War I, when the plot of land in Illinois known as Scott Field was leased by the War Department as an aviation training field. After the war, large-scale demobilization closed many airfields, and the future of Scott Field was uncertain. In 1919, the War Department saw the value in its central location and purchased the land with the promise of a new future mission. That purpose came in 1921, when the War Department designated Scott Field to host the U.S. Army Air Service balloon and airship missions, thus commencing the lighter-than-air era. Along with the lighter-than-air training school, Scott Field also housed dirigibles and balloons with the missions of observation, aerial photography, navigation, and armament. Many new facilities had to be built to accommodate this new mission. Most notably was the three block long, one block wide, 15 story high airship hangar. The experimental RS-1 was the Army's largest airship and the only US designed semi-rigid airship. In 1934 and 1935, Scott trained airmen made up the air and ground crew of both Explorer Stratosphere balloon missions that set a world altitude record of over 72,000 feet and brought back the first photos of the curvature of the Earth. The lighter-than-air age ended in 1937, when new airplane technology, combined with the constraints of the Great Depression, pushed the War Department to discontinue airship and balloon operations at Scott Field. Scott Air Force Base salutes the aviation pioneers of this era, which laid the foundations for today's ability to fly, fight, and win in air, space, and cyberspace. <laughs>